Yo, what's going on? I'm gonna break down to you right now exactly why avoidance does not work. Because you hear it from speech therapists. I hope you hear it from mainstream. I mean, it's just common fucking sense, even if you have, like you're just trying to work on your anxiety. That probably didn't sound too good. I'm gonna take this off. Um, even if you're just working on your anxiety, of course, you're not going to get less anxious around people if you continue to avoid the things that make you anxious. But I want to tell you the science be science be science behind it because it's it's pretty much a lot worse than what you think it may be. And maybe if you realize the truth behind it and you're actually really fucking yourself by avoiding it would give you more leverage to not avoid because and there's so many things i i want to say right now but overcoming your stutter cannot be done if you're avoiding your stutter you you have to be able to stutter more than you currently are right now in order to overcome it that's like a mind fuck a lot of people get tripped up on is like they think in order to overcome stuttering they must from now from this point forward stutter less when in reality it's the opposite in order to overcome stuttering from this point forward where you're at you must stutter more you must be more open you must face the fear more you must see stuttering fucking head on and say i'm not scared of you i'm not going to avoid you i'm going to let this stutter fucking fly in a relaxing, calm, grounded manner. And you must face that more often. So you, de- so, you de- so you develop a, a new way of feeling about it, and a new way of responding to it, a new pattern to stutter. Like, so you realize, hey, it's actually not bad at all. Nobody gives a fuck and actually people like it. When I, stu- when I stutter calmly around people, they open up, they relax, all right? And avoiding stuttering, you never get to face that. Hey, one second. If you stutter and you want to overcome it, and you want to be guided by somebody who also used to stutter and has overcome it himself and has helped 68 people in the last three years, also overcome their stutter you want to be taken by the hand and guided through the exact steps you need to take in order to overcome it then i'm sorry there's nothing i can do just kidding you are in luck because i'm hosting six week intensives so i'm working together with people who stutter intensively for six weeks at a time and helping them overcome their stutter guaranteed And right now, I'm currently working with the six-week intensive group, so I'm not taking on any new clients, but I will be in a few weeks. And if you want information of when my next six-week intensive starts and what the actual step-by-step-by-step process we take in this intensive is to see if it's a good fit for you, then look down below in the description. You will find my WhatsApp number, You'll find my Instagram. You'll also find my email. I prefer you to reach out to me on Instagram or on or on WhatsApp. All you have to do to get all the details of this intensive and to see what the step-by-step process is inside my intensive, so you can do it with me or you can also just do it by yourself. Message me the word stutter. Stutter, S-T-U-T-T-E-R. You know it pretty well. Message me the word stutter on either Instagram, email, or on WhatsApp, and I will send you the link as soon as possible. And I'll also give you information inside of that link of when my next six week inten- my six week intensive group is. All right, let's continue the video. So the reason why avoiding really fucks you over is because let's let's make a story out of this. All right. So let's say you're going into a grocery store and you've been looking for trail mix for like five minutes now and you can't find it but you're sure this grocery store has it and you want to go ask a grocery store employee hey do you know where the trail mix is but you play this story in your mind of you going to ask that and you realize 
shit, I'm going to stutter on the word trail. And you play the story in your head of when you stutter on the word trail, how this employee would judge you. What, what would they look like? How confused would they be? What judgments would they have of you after? And they're never nice. These are never nice judgments you feel from the story you create in your head. It's always the worst case scenario. Like you feel, you feel like they're gonna judge you so fucking harshly. So you don't, you don't. You leave that fucking grocery store, trail mix empty and defeated, feeling like shit. So you out, you avoided, but why this is so painful to you is because you created a story in your mind and you had a ba you had a bodily reaction of anxiety of fear of stress to the story you created in your mind and the thing is we can't actually tell between like there's no fucking difference between an Im, between an imagined reality and an actual reality the same response happens in our body. We still feel it the same. And if you create a reality that is very often the worst case scenario, and you live that reality, and you don't actually go and prove that reality wrong, then that is what happened. That is how your body remembers the, the situation to go. So next time you want to go talk to somebody, it's like, you don't get the privilege to re to re to replay a positive experience. All you have is the worst case scenario experience you replay in your mind. Oh, last time he judged me. He thought I was weird when I stuttered on that word trail mix. Even though you may not think that is actually what happened, your body feels that because that is what you experienced. So if you continue to avoid and avoid and avoid and avoid, you're creating worst case scenarios, worst case scenarios, worst case scenarios, and that's actually your fucking reality. It's no wonder that people who, who avoid the most are the most terrified to speak. It's because they're continuing to avoid. They're living in worst case scenarios. They're constantly experiencing worst case scenarios. But the powerful thing that happens when you don't avoid is you feel so fucking free. You realize it's never as bad as you imagined. And you realize how much your mind is fucking lying to you. I can't tell you how many times I get one of my clients to go and push themselves. They're like, I, there's no fucking way I can do that. There's no fucking way I can do that. No fucking way I can do that. Then they do that. And they're like, what the fuck was so bad about that? There was nothing. There was no there's nothing that could have went wrong. Like the worst case scenario is him looking at me or her looking at me weird. But that's what was playing in my brain anyway. You give yourself, by not avoiding, you create a different story that is a lot more congruent to reality. And reality isn't fucking scary. Your mind is scary. Re reality isn't. Overcoming stuttering is about living in reality, not in your fucking mind. Because when you're constantly living the truth and you're real and you're not avoiding, you see there's there's no fucking danger. It's I've I've had the same thing with uh, with approaching women for all my life. It's like oh my god, this is so scary. She's next, like she's on the bus. If I speak to her, everyone else around me is gonna listen and she's gonna reject me, and then everyone's gonna start laughing at me. That's the story I played in my mind. And then I go and do it, it's like, oh, one, she would either say, yes, I would love to go with you, and that's great, and P, and now P, and now people are inspired, or two, she's like, no, but she's very nice, she's very nice, she's very nice about it, and nobody even fucking talks to me, or like, oh, you got, you got rejected, none of that fucking happens, and you prove that to your brain so many times, it's like, this world isn't scary your mind is scary that's it all right so that's why it's so painful to avoid and remember message me on either whatsapp instagram um or on 
or on email, link down below in the description and shoot me the word stutter. If you want information of the five step process, how I've overcome my stutter and also information on the six week intensive, the next one starting. So I love you. I'll see you in the next video.